Okay, these are my interfaces. One connected to internet with IPv4 and IPv6, and LAN connected to my local area network. Go to interfaces assignments and available network ports. I have four additional ports. I will use IGB2 at and the default name is OPD1. Okay, uh, save. Click on interfaces and go to OPD1. You can change the name, for example, uh, can be uh, DMC1. Enable this interface. IP configuration static, IPv6 static, IPv4 address. You can create a new subnet. For example, this 20.1 prefix 24. Upstream gateway and on local area network interfaces, the upstream gateway should be none. Okay, none. IPv6 address create a new subnet, a unique local IPv6 address. This is like a private IPv4 address, but on IPv6 FC00, AB200, colon, colon, one, prefix 64, uh, none for upstream gateway on LANs should be none. Um, block private networks, no. Block bone networks, no. Save. Apply changes. Okay, changes have been applied successfully. Go to services and go to DHCP server. Go to DMC1. This is the new name of my interface, DMC1. You can uh, enable this to list IP addresses or disable for security. I will enable this service on the interface, the new interface, DMC1. This is the subnet. This is the subnet mask, the available range, and choose a, a range to list. 21 of 1 to 192, 168, 22, 0, 0, 200. The DNS servers, you can fill the DNS servers or lip to use system default DNS servers configured on system general setup page. Okay, then save. and go to services dhcp server dhcp version 6 server okay okay this is the server on one go to dmz1 enable dhcp okay this is the subnet the prefix the available range so use the Set the range, for example, from one of one to two zero zero. The DNS servers. You can specify IP6 DNS servers or leave blank to use the system default DNS servers. Configure it on general page. Save. Okay, changes have been applied successfully. Click on PFSense logo. These are the DNS servers. The DHCP services on IPv4 and IPv6 will use. Okay, and you can modify that on general setup, the DNS servers. Okay, and 
review uh, firewall network address translation NAT. Go to outbound. These are the automatic rules created. Okay, and uh, on IPv4 subnet 10 and on IPv4 subnet 20 are uh, translated to the one address. Okay, network address translation. Okay, but for IPv6 you need this rule. Okay, select a uh, hybrid outbound NAT, click on save, and create this new rule. Okay. Okay, on one, IPv6, protocol any, source any, destination any. Uh, interface address, interface address of, of, of one. Okay, um, set a description if you want. This is the NAT for IPv6. Okay, and save. But, uh, click on outbound. Okay, this rule will will permit the access to IPv6 addresses to reach internet. Okay, uh, click on PFSense logo. Now you have the new interface. Okay, this is the new client in the new subnet. IP config all. This is my Ethernet interface. The suffix uh, IPv6 address on the new subnet. Unique local address, IPv6 address. On the new subnet, temporary IPv6 address. IPv4 address on the new subnet, subnet mask. The default gateway, the link local interface on the new interface of, on PFSense. IPv4 address on, on the new interface, DHCP server, PFSense, DNS server, PFSense. Okay, try to ping to google.com. Okay. Could not find host google.com. Ping to internet. Okay, request timeout. Okay, and go to firewall, go to rules, uh, review LAN. On LAN interface, you have this entry for the web configurator. Okay, for this uh, web configurator. And also, uh, there are two rules. This rule to permit the IPv4 subnet to reach internet, and this another rule to permit the IPv6 subnet to reach internet. Go to DMC1, the new interface, and you don't have rules. No rules are currently defined. All incoming connections on this interface will be blocked until path rules are added. Okay, and go to LAN and copy this. Click here to copy this uh, rule, the IPv4 rule, copy, and pass, uh, change to DMC1, IPv4, protocol any, source is not LAN net, is the DMC1 net, the new, the new subnet. Destination any and description default allow DMZ1 to any rule save. Okay, apply changes. Okay, now you have this rule on DMC. Go to LAN again and copy the second rule. This the IPv6 rule. Copy here, copy. 
pass interface DMC1 IPv6 very good protocol any the source is not LAN is DMC1 net the new subnet okay destination any description default allow DMC1 IPv6 to any rule say apply changes okay you have uh, two entries two rules to permit IPv4 and IPv6 to reach internet okay remember only from LAM you can access the web configurator okay and And now on this client, uh, ping to google.com success, ping to google.com or using IPv6 success. And you can navigate to Facebook, Yahoo. YouTube 